Yueju, or Cantonese opera, is a form of traditional Chinese opera, especially popular in Guangdong Province, Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, and the Hong Kong and Macau Special Administrative Regions, collectively often referred to as the Lingnan Region. As early as the time of the Qin and Han dynasties, this area, which was originally populated by various minority groups, was subject to repeated waves of cultural influence from the Central Plains. These ideas gradually mingled with those of the indigenous groups to form a characteristic local culture. And it was in this cultural melting pot that Yueju Opera was born. Yueju Opera is sung in the Yue or Cantonese language. Even before the 18th century, popular opera styles from other areas, such as Yangqiang Opera and Kunchu Opera, were already being performed in the Lingnan region, but with influences from the Yue dialect and accent. This combination style became known as Guangqiang Opera. During the following 300 years of historical development, this operatic form, now known as Yueju Opera, extended its performance from the basic, most popular Banzi or Hebei Wooden Clapper Opera and Arhuang Opera tunes by assimilating elements of Gaoqiang and Kunchu Pai Chu Opera styles. To this mix were added Henan Opera tunes and Yue Ou, Wu Yu Shu, Long Zhou, and other folk music formats. This gradually resulted in the evolution of a distinct stage language in the Guangzhou dialect, which reflects the special beauty of the Lingnan region. Yueju Opera perfectly combines the Yue dialect and opera tunes. It goes beyond the limitations of the Banzi and Arhuang melodies, introducing many other kinds of creative methods. These include using one particular intonation for a particular opera or composing original music for a new operatic work. All of these, together, result in the creation of a novel and unique form of Chinese opera. Within Yueju opera, many different styles or schools of acting the various principal roles, such as Chang, Dan and Chou, have emerged. These different schools of acting have, in turn, produced such well-known stars as Sui Juexian, Ma Shizheng, Liao Xiaohuai, Gui Mingyang, and Bai Ju Rong, all of whom have created their own unique performing styles. Especially notable in this respect is the popular singing and performing style known as Hong Qiang, created by Hong Xian Nu, and which has now spread across the world. There have been many different Yueju opera stage styles created during the long period in which the format has been performed. These styles or segments are known by the term Pai Chang. The majority of these Pai Chang involve specific scenes, a specific atmosphere, specific movements and specific fixed lyrics, therefore becoming comparable to a fixed element of a story, something akin to a chapter or a scene. Different Pai Chang can then be combined to make different stories. Using different combinations of Pai Chang, performers can create thousands upon thousands of distinct stage opera scripts by using the synopsis of the Pai Chang, which will be familiar to the audience, and free creative performance. This method also means that both passive and active acting styles can appear together in Yueju opera, and this simultaneous appearance of these performers on the stage has begun a new trend in Chinese opera art industry. Shaolin Kung Fu is the basic element used in Yueju martial arts. In addition, it has absorbed other local Kung Fu styles, eventually evolving into an unarmed fighting style called Shou Qiao. Meanwhile, Da Jian Jun and Jin Zhe Biao are the two fighting styles which involve the use of weapons. These Kung Fu skills, along with a number of especially acrobatic and energetic movements, mean Yueju opera can be both a nail-biting and absorbing experience, resulting in one of the most outstanding and memorable performance styles in Chinese opera. Amongst these highly skilled acrobatic moves are the following. Tiao Da Jia, which is a series of figure movements, 
Da Go Shan, meaning escaping and running across a mountain, Giao Bian, hanging from the pigtail, Chu Shui, spitting blood, Chuan Fa, using the strength of the hip and neck to spin the hair clockwise or anti-clockwise, Zhao Jing, also known as Lian Hua Zuo, jumping up and turning in the air before landing kneeling on a chair, Shua Ya, using adapted pig's teeth as a prop for making movements with the jaw, tongue and the cheek muscles, and Chan Tai Chan Yi, jumping high in the air and landing flat on a table or chair. At the same time, Yueju Opera has continued to respect Chinese opera's main performing formats and basic regulations in the areas of singing, reading, acting and fighting. It has also gained its special character because of its appeal to the aesthetic ideals of the local Lingnan audiences. Traditional movements, lifelike stage settings, unadorned face painting and beautifully ornate wardrobes all reflect the cultural characteristics of the Lingnan region, traditional and yet also modern, respectful of the past but at the same time creative. In the countryside and certain specific areas of the Lingnan region, Yueju opera performances normally take place on traditional stages made of straw or grass and have always been combined with local celebrations and religious sacrifices. In addition, the traditional ceremonies involved in Chinese opera, such as praying to the opera god or before the beginning of a performance, have all been well preserved. As a consequence of this, a number of what are termed religious performing styles, such as Shen Gong Xi and Pang Xi, have appeared in Yueju opera. At the same time, with their particularly folk performance format, the following popular Li Xi operas have also become extremely well accepted and are favorites with local opera fans, as well as being sung during all kinds of ceremonies, including the spring autumn sacrifices sacred temple activities, and marriage or funeral rites. These Nisi operas are Yo Guo Fang Xiang, the joint investiture of a prime minister by six warlords, Ba Xian He Shou, birthday celebrations of the eight immortals, and Tian Zi Song Zi, Tian Ji Fairy, brings a son. The amateur Yue Ju opera performance, called Se Huo Ju, is hugely popular in Cantonese society, and participation in this dramatic activity among locals is widespread. As the operatic art most directly influenced and affected by the Yue, or Cantonese dialect, images and reminders of Yueju opera, as well as amateur shows, appear in all corners and at all levels of Lingnan society, ranging from tea houses and restaurants, temples and monasteries, to parks and streets, farms and fields. In fact, Se Huoju performances can be seen virtually everywhere. Due to this wide-ranging popularity of Se Huoju, it has an influential effect on society, not only at the level of entertainment, but also at that of culture and education. Yueju Opera is a representative of Chinese opera traditions from both the north and the south of the country. At the same time, along with the growing population of Cantonese-speaking people overseas, it has also become widespread in those areas of the world where Cantonese people live and work, such as Southeast Asia, the Americas, Oceania, Europe and Africa. Yueju Opera has always served as a cultural link uniting the approximately 100 million Cantonese-speaking people around the world with their homeland as well as enabling them to connect and communicate with one another. This phenomenon is something extremely rare in other sections of the Chinese opera world. Yueju Opera is a Chinese national cultural treasure which also belongs to the entire world. Its unique style, healthy state and the fact that it is continuously being passed on to the next generation all serve as a reminder and encouragement to people everywhere to show understanding and respect for other groups, cultures and artistic creations.